Hello everyone, greetings and welcome to the educational YouTube channel Chandrasekhar Academy. So in the previous video we had covered chemical properties of alkenes and this video I am going to continue with the alkenes portion. So if you all can just recall basics about the alkenes. Alkenes, they have a general formula CnH2n where n will start from 2. Alkenes are actually defined as unsaturated hydrocarbons which have at least one double bond between two adjacent carbon atoms. That means the minimum requirement for this is of two carbon and that's why in this general formula the value of n will start with 2. Also, if you can recall about alkenes, that the carbon atom which is involved in the formation of double bond, the hybridization of that carbon atom is sp2. That means that carbon is capable of forming three sigma bonds and one pi bond. So wherever you are getting double bond in the alkenes, it means that out of those two bonds, one is sigma and the other is pi bond. So these are the basics which you have learned in the basic organic chemistry also or also as the general organic chemistry. Now here I will be starting with the preparation of alkene parts. But before starting with that I will just make you recall one more thing about alkenes that they have a characteristic property of showing geometrical isomerism. Alkenes shows geometrical isomerism, namely the cis and the trans isomer. And that are very easy. Cis isomers are those which have identical groups, identical atoms, identical functional groups across uh, the same side of the double bond. Whereas trans isomer that have that do not have identical groups on the same side. The identical groups are present on the diagonally opposite side of the double bonds. So the cis and trans isomer is quite important for uh, alkenes. You need to understand the concept about cis and trans. You need to practice also for the identification and also what the cis and trans isomer tells about the stability of the alkenes and about their polarity. Now let's start with the preparation of alkenes. So the first method which you have in preparation of alkene is by the reduction of alkynes. Alkenes can be prepared from alkynes. Now alkynes if you recall, alkynes they have triple bond between two carbon atoms. And reduction of alkynes that simply means that the triple bond need to be converted into double bonds for the preparation of alkene especially. So let us take first a general alkene, sorry alkyne as this and the reduction of this when carried out in presence of palletized charcoal where this palletized charcoal is partly deactivated by using uh, compounds like um, compounds of sulfur or quinoline like compounds are used for poisoning this catalyst it is partially deactivated so this gives cis alkene as a product again you can see, see here that across the double bond you have identical atoms in the group on the same side. So this is cis alkene obtained by using the catalyst palletized charcoal which is partly deactivated. This catalyst is also known as Lindlar's catalyst. This is Lindlar's catalyst. Whereas if the reduction is carried out with 
सोडियम इन लिक्विड अमोनिया लिथियम और सोडियम इन लिक्विड अमोनिया कैन बी यूज देन द रिएक्शन इज नोन एज बिट्स रिडक्शन एंड दिस ऑन रिडक्शन गिवस यू ट्रांस एल्किन एज अ प्रोडक्ट सो दिस इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस in using these two different uh, catalyst one lindas catalyst gives cis alkene on reduction of alkynes whereas by using sodium or lithium in liquid ammonia that gives you trans alkene and the reaction is known as birch reduction these names are important as further these reactions are also classified into name the reaction category and in examination you may have these reactions uh, in that direct way also like a question may come uh, write a reaction write an example to illustrate uh, birch reduction so if that kind of question comes you must uh, have to get prepared for it because this has a very good weightage in your uh, dam examinations as well as when it comes for the board examination of grade 12 always the named reaction has a very good weightage in organic sections now let's see the next method for the preparation of alkene the next method of preparation of alkene is from alkyl halides alkenes can be prepared from alkyl halides by elimination reaction so alkenes can be prepared from alkyl halides and the reaction is known as elimination reaction or it is also known as dehydro halogenation reaction also you can assign it as alpha beta elimination or beta elimination so let's see the general reaction for this first and then i will be taking an example also like suppose if i want to show the double bond formation i am writing alkyl halide like this R CH two CH two X. Why I have written like this? Only to show alpha and beta carbon atoms. This carbon atom to which halogen is bonded is alpha carbon, and the carbon atom adjacent to alpha is the beta carbon. Now the reagent required for it is alcoholic potassium hydroxide. This alkyl halide is heated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide. on heating it with alcoholic potassium hydroxide the removal of halogen takes place from alpha carbon atom so you can see here that when halogen is getting removed from alpha carbon it is getting removed as halide ion this shared pair of electron is taken up by the halogen that's why it has a negative charge while leaving it is leave Uh, it is left as x minus halide ion when this halogen leaves as halide ion carbon atom becomes electron deficient and acquires a positive charge so when this acquires a positive charge from the adjacent carbon that is beta carbon this carbon hydrogen bond cleaves and this time it cleaves in such a way that the shared electron are there with the carbon only and later it comes between the two carbon atoms forming a double bond so this way you are getting a double bond formed here and the product is you are having a double bond getting formed this is having an alkyl group and hydrogen and the other is having two hydrogen atoms on it so this is your alkene formed and the cl minus which is getting eliminated from there joins with potassium so gives kcl and h plus joins with oh minus ion so gives h2o kcl and h2o are formed as the byproducts so this is how if you write this reaction a uh, number of times following the same uh, the arrow notations this will help you in keeping the reactions Uh, for longer duration in your mind as well that will also be giving you clarity each time 
that how the double bond is getting formed between the two carbon atoms here. These are not the actual mechanism, but these are a sort of mechanism, a kind of mechanism which you can consider while writing these reactions or doing their writing practice. Next is, let us take some example in this to understand a very important rule. Suppose here if I am taking propane uh, derivative, I am taking uh, this as the compound and it's very simple here, this is 1 chloropropane. So, 1 chloropropane is treated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide and on heating with alcoholic potassium hydroxide, here, same way you will be showing this is alpha carbon atom, this is beta carbon atom. So, halogen getting lost from alpha carbon and the hydrogen is getting removed from beta carbon. So, as together hydrogen and halogen is getting removed, that's why it is called dehydrohalogenation reaction also. And as halogen is getting removed from alpha and carbon getting removed from beta, that's why known as alpha-beta elimination or simply as beta elimination also. So here, this time, the double bond is getting formed between these two carbon atoms. You get propene as the product and potassium chloride and H2O that will be formed as the byproduct. So let's take one more example to understand a very important rule that is I am taking 2-bromobutane as a compound. So this is 2-bromobutane. Now what you can see here in 2-bromobutane that the compound is having two adjacent carbon to the alpha one. That means there are two beta carbon available and also hydrogen also available on both the beta carbon atoms. That means here you can have two possibilities. I will be showing all those two possibilities here. The first possibility let us consider that the removal of Br- minus taking place from this carbon and the removal of hydrogen is taking place from here. So when hydrogen is getting removed from here, you will be getting a double bond formed between first and second carbon atom. So the product will be like this. You will be getting this but when in as the product. The product form there is but when in. In the second case, again Br- minus will be getting removed from the alpha carbon only, but you can think of hydrogen getting removed from this side beta carbon. So if hydrogen is getting removed from here, you will be having double bond formed between the second and third carbon atom. That means this time you will be having a different product and that product is but2in. This one is but1in and this compound is but2in. Here in this one, this is formed as a major product. Now why this is formed as a major product? For that you have to follow Cezep rule. And what the Cezep rule says, this says that in dehydrohalogenation reaction, the preferred product or the major product is that alkene which is having more number of alkyl group across doubly bonded carbon atoms. So, in the first case, you can see across this carbon double bond carbon, you have only one alkyl group on this side. Whereas, in the second one here you can see across carbon double bond carbon you have two alkyl group on either of the sides. So that's why according to Cezep rule but 2 in is the major product. Again I am repeating statement in dehydrohalogenation reaction major product is the one 
विच हैज मोर नंबर ऑफ अल्काइन ग्रुप अक्रॉस डबली बॉन्डेड कार्बन सो ब्यू टू इन इज अजर प्रोडक्ट so in this elimination reaction now you need to uh, keep in your mind that the ease of elimination ease of elimination for halogen follows this order iodine is removed most easily then bromine and then chlorine this is because of the bond enthalpy of carbon halogen bond as carbon iodine bond is the weakest one so that's why it is uh, eliminated most readily or most easily then uh, lesser than that is the ease of removal of bromine and the least is of chlorine fluorine we are not talking of fluorine compounds itself uh, formation of those compounds are quite uh, followed by the violent reactions which are not always under our control so we don't talk about, talk about fluorine in most of the cases also the ease of elimination ease of elimination of hydrogen this follows the order from tertiary carbon it is removed with the uh, removed in the easiest way then secondary and the least is for primary okay so this is about the is of elimination for the different halogens and also with a different kind of the hydrogen available in alkyl halides now the next method is preparation of uh, alkenes from vicinal dihalides so alkenes can be prepared by the reaction of vicinal dihalides with zinc metal but before we discuss this method you need to understand first what actually are the vicinal dihalides so children uh, you need to understand this that whenever identical groups say functional group are present on adjacent carbon atom in an organic compound then that compound is known as the vicinal derivative like if two halogens are bonded on adjacent carbon atoms then it will be called vicinal dihalide same way if two oh group alcoholic group are bonded on adjacent carbon atoms then it will be called vicinal diols or vicinal alcohols and also if the identical functional group are bonded on same carbon atoms then in that case it is known as geminal like suppose if the two halogen atoms are bonded on same carbon then that compound will be called geminal dihalide okay so with this note let us see the reaction i am writing one reaction only this is very simple uh, like let us take this vicinal dibromide and this vicinal dibromide on reaction with zinc gives alkene that is ethene and zinc bromide okay so the reaction is relatively simple from both the carbon atom halogen is getting removed and a double bond is getting formed between the two carbon atoms the reason only you need to keep in mind okay so after this one now the next is from alcohols this alkenes can be prepared from alcohols by dehydration reaction now what is dehydration dehydration is nothing but the removal of a molecule of water and how this removal of molecule of water it is for this you need to understand this reaction let us take an alcohol i have taken ethanol and ethanol on reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid which is a dehydrating agent at around 443 kelvin so the reaction is very simple here this alcoholic group oh group the bond cleavage between carbon and oxygen occurs and the oh minus removes from here and when oh minus removes this carbon acquires positive charge so the next cleavage is carbon hydrogen bond cleavage here and this 
pair of electron comes between two carbon atoms forming a double bond between the two carbon so you will be getting ethene as the product and h plus and oh minus together forms h2 okay this reaction again is going to get repeated in grade 12 also uh, under the chapter alcohol phenols and ethers where you will be discussing you will be studying about the entire detailed mechanism of the reaction what i have shown here this is just for the understanding detailed mechanism is quite different which will you will be studying in grade 12 and uh, that mechanism also has a good weightage in examination many a times it has been asked in examination for a better of around 3 marks so that will be very important in grade 12 one more thing you need to understand about the reaction that specially for the dehydration of alcohols dehydrating reagent are required and dehydrating reagent is not only the concentrated sulfuric acid this reaction is feasible also with the dehydrating agents like anhydrous zinc chloride and with the anhydrous aluminum oxide so alumina can be used as a uh, dehydrating agent in the reaction and hydrous zinc chloride can also be used in place of concentrated sulfuric acid you can use phosphoric acid also provided the alcohol must be a secondary alcohol like suppose if i take this alcohol if i take sorry cyclohexanol so cyclohexanol if you will see it's a secondary alcohol and the secondary alcohol when treated with phosphoric acid nearly around 80% phosphoric acid is taken and the temperature is kept near around 380 kelvin so elimination takes place and this elimination gives this alkene as the product cyclohexyl is formed and h2o is eliminated so that's about the preparation of alkenes now in the next video we will see uh, chemical properties of alkenes physical properties uh, i am skipping i am not including in the video please read yourself if you have any questions related to that you can add in the comment box chemical properties of alkenes i am going to take in the next video so bye everyone stay tuned with me and if you are getting some benefit from these videos do pass on to your friends uh, like and subscribe the channel and also your valuable feedbacks are appreciated in the comment box if you want any other chapter to be taken you can add that also in the comment box so bye everyone see you in the next video